We are learning more tonight about the search of a home and a vehicle in Luzerne County Tuesday. It's that same area where 29 year old John Robert Evans was shot to death. The I team's Andy Mahalshik joins us now live in Edwardsville with the latest. Andy. Well, good afternoon, Candace. John Robert Evans was shot to death in the early morning hours of June 6th as he sat inside an SUV in a parking lot here at the Hilltop Apartments in Edwardsville. Today, Eyewitness News obtained these search warrant affidavits. We now know why troopers returned to the scene and what they found. State troopers searched apartment number 15 inside building 511 of the Hilltop Apartments in Edwardsville. We saw them searching through bags on the front porch. They were also removing items from the apartment and placing them inside its mobile crime lab. They also searched this car parked in front of that apartment. Now, the homicide took place in the early morning hours of June 6th. Investigators say 29 year old John Robert Evans was sitting in a running SUV along with 26 year old Eli Quadri Smith. A man approached the vehicle and spoke briefly with Evans. Troopers say the man pulled out a gun and fired 12 shots into the driver's side of the vehicle. Evans died at the scene. Smith suffered non life threatening injuries. Now, state troopers say there was a large party in an adjoining parking lot with about 50 people. Detectives believe that someone at that party may have information that could lead to an arrest of the gunman. Now, Eyewitness News obtained these search warrant affidavits. Information on the paperwork indicates that state troopers intended to search apartment number 15, but the reasons for the search remain sealed by the court. However, sources close to the investigation say troopers were looking for evidence connected to the homicide. However, the affidavits do reveal that during the search of the home, troopers found evidence of an alleged credit card copying and or manufacturing operation. They recovered what appears to be driver's licenses, fake credit cards, and personal identification information from people from all over the East Coast of the United States. Troopers say they also found a small amount of drugs inside the vehicle, as well as debit cards that appear to be stolen. I went to the front door of the home in an attempt to speak with the resident. Nobody answered. Now, troopers are not commenting on what, if any, connection the alleged credit card making operation has with the murder of John Robert Evans. Now, we also have to point out that there are names listed on these affidavits of the persons who live in the apartment and also own the car. We're not releasing those names yet, as of yet, because they have not been accused of any criminal wrongdoing and charges against them have not been filed. Reporting live in Edwardsville, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News.